The Royal St. Lucia Police Force, RSLPF, is urging members of the public to adhere to all COVID-19 protocols. Several breaches have been noted and measures are being taken by the RSLPF to curtail these breaches. From the 27th of December 2020 to the 4th of March 2021, a total of 123 breaches were recorded, with 108 warnings given, 15 individuals arrested and one conviction. 12 home quarantine breaches were noted, with 10 of these individuals being escorted by police to a government quarantine facility, and the other two individuals were escorted to a government facility after being cleared by medical professionals. Superintendent of Police Mashama Sili has a further breakdown. Minibus travel breaches, there were a total of 161, and 161 warnings were given. Individual protocol breaches, that is failing to wear a mask, there were 684 breaches, 79 individuals were arrested. Of the 79 individuals arrested, 30 so far have been convicted and fined from $200 to $500. And one person was given 40 hours community service. Of the 684 breaches, 605 individuals were warned, and these were in the areas of Grosile, Marigo, Ancillary, Canaries, Castries, Viewfort, and Babono. Three house parties were held last weekend, and complaints were lodged against two individuals who will be summoned to appear before the court. One individual was warned. There were no taxi or restaurant breaches. With regards to mass crowd breaches, there was a total of 15, one individual was arrested, and 14 warnings were given. Hotel breaches, there was a total of 10, nine individuals were warned, and one person was arrested. Curfew breaches, there was a total of 46, 29 individuals were arrested. Of the 29 arrested, five were convicted, and each person was fined $1,000. 17 warnings were given, and there are 24 matters pending. The areas where the curfew breaches took place were as follows. Viewfort, Mikud, Ancillary, Labry, Castries, Choiseul, Denry, and Babono. State quarantine breaches, there was one. The individual was escorted back to his room. That was Superintendent of Police Mashama Sealy.